Hey guys, so before I start the topic of this video, I just wanted to make sure you guys know about my YouTube channel. It is called The 9 to 5 Coach. At that channel, you'll be able to see all the videos I post uh, just collected right there. So if you miss anything, you can go back and watch them. And also you can subscribe so that way you don't miss any upcoming videos. Um, and uh, like I said, you can just subscribe to it so you get notified when new stuff comes out. Now the topic for this video is going to be how many calories should you eat to gain or lose weight, uh, particularly to lose weight. That seems to be what most people want to know about. I've made this a video before talking about it, but it seems like a lot of you are still confused uh, based on some of the questions I've gotten. So I just wanted to give you an easy, easy way to, to get a good starting point for how many calories you should be eating on a daily basis to lose weight. Um, once you've been doing it for a while, you'll be able to adjust those calories you'll, uh, a little bit better. You'll know how your body reacts. Um, but this is definitely, definitely a good starting point. So what you want to do is take your current body weight and multiply that by 14. So for instance, my current body weight is 165. I would multiply that by 14 and get whatever number that is. I think it's about 2,300. Uh, so it'd be 2,300 calories to stay at my current body weight. So if I want to lose weight, I would subtract calories from that. So I typically try to lose weight as fast as possible. So I'll, uh, I'll usually subtract about 500 calories from that. And that's what I'll hit. Um, no more than 500 though. Um, that's what I'll try to hit every day. Now, there'll be one day a week where I'll have a little bit higher day and it'll be it'll it'll be about 500 calories more than I had been eating, so the original number, so the, the 165 times 14. But that'll be one day and it won't be more than that maintenance number, that 2300. So again, that's a good starting point. Um, so try that, try it for a week or two and see how your weight changes. If you're losing weight right off the bat, great. You know, don't make a change to those calorie numbers if you're already losing weight. Now, if you find out you're not losing weight, I would try subtracting 100, but odds are you're gonna be losing weight from that. Um, again, it might take up to two weeks to really start seeing a difference because sometimes when you get on a steady diet uh, of cal a certain amount of calories per day, your body can have uh, a reaction in which it actually puts on uh, some water. It's not going to be fat though because it's physically really impossible to be putting on fat when you're in a calorie deficit. So don't think it's fat. Um, it could just be some water and you'll probably shed it um, some random night. You know, you'll be, for instance, sometimes I'll be 168. Uh, for like three days in a row and then all of a sudden I'm down to 165 uh, overnight and then I'll stay at that weight and then maybe for a week I'll stay at that weight and then I'll put on two pounds uh, for another two days but then I'll drop to even lower so 163 or something like that so don't let uh, the scale trick you too much but definitely give that a try again it's just your body weight times 14 then subtract 500 from that and see what hitting that number of calories every day gets you. All right, guys, again, check out my YouTube channel, The 9 to 5 Coach. And if you like this video, like, please share, comment. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, keep, keep them coming. And uh, subscribe to that YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.